Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here. And in this video, we will not be doing the regular unboxing or a review. Instead, uh, we had a visit to Oppo's uh, quality and uh, reliability testing lab in Noida. So, we will be talking about uh, that uh, visit uh, to the lab. Now, this visit was specific uh, to the Renault 8 Pro which was uh, launched uh, in India. The Renault 8 series, the Renault 8 Pro and Renault 8 were launched uh, a few weeks back uh, in India. They are premium devices. So, what what all uh, rigorous testing uh, goes uh, to making the Renault 8 series that's what we're going to talk about in this video so uh, the uh, Oppo's uh, uh, reliability and uh, quality testing lab is located in Great, Great Noida and it is spread over a huge campus and we visited the quality testing lab and uh, here are uh, the things what we found uh, these devices are uh, uh, tested with uh, 300 plus tests uh, these are rigorous testing which makes sure that uh, your device lasts uh, long and even after three years of uh, usage your device will be as good as new that's uh, the claim made by Oppo because these the devices go through rigorous testing uh, to make sure they last long and uh, Oppo is also promising two years of updates uh, the uh, color OS updates uh, with uh, the Renault 8 series so so let's see what all uh, tests uh, these uh, devices are subject to this include actually high temperature testing drop testing Wi-Fi testing antenna testing and uh, scratch test uh, heat test uh, sand test uh, saline test so there are plenty of tests to uh, see in this video so we actually took a uh, uh, actual live demo of all these uh, tests performed on the Renault 8 uh, Pro so let's see how this performs uh, with uh, this testing so before that if this is your first time on this channel do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so Opus uh, factory is uh, located uh, in Greater Noida it's a beautiful campus uh, we actually visited this campus it's almost uh, close to one and a half hours uh, drive from uh, uh, New Delhi and this is the great not as well planned uh, uh, campus uh, huge uh, sprawling campus and uh, uh, you need to enter all the details and once you're inside you can see that this is very beautiful campus and uh, inside the campus uh, or rather inside the quality testing lab you need to wear their own uh, special jackets uh, in order to prevent any sort of uh, dust or anything entering their quality testing lab so we had to get uh, prepared with uh, uh, the suit uh, given to us uh, by Oppo so this is how it looks like and we also have to wear caps uh, to go inside the lab now once inside the lab the first of the test was uh, the the cold and thermal uh, shock uh, testing machine where the temperature goes from minus 40 to up to 75 degrees so various uh, uh, different temperatures are tested here you can see here now it's 75 degree inside and you you can actually see uh, the Oppo Reno 8 Pro kept inside at this temperature now you can see that this is another uh, test chamber so one once you open it you can see how uh, the testing uh, is in progress and um, uh, the the state of uh, Oppo Reno 8 Pro kept inside you can see this is uh, a chamber where it's kept in cold uh, condition so you can see here frosting is happening here ice is uh, uh, captured uh, in this video so this is another test chamber where uh, the devices are kept inside now this is another hot chamber where uh, the devices are kept in charging and also you can see that uh, some tests are running in the background to assess the values which uh, uh, which are uh, got uh, while testing you can see here hot air being blown on this uh, device and uh, simultaneously that phone is also kept to charging and you can see the values uh, which are computed there these are uh, auto run software now this is another uh, temperature testing machine here you can see here minus 40 degrees that's uh, frozen the device is uh, literally frozen and uh, it's kept inside uh, to test uh, different parameters and once you take it out you can see here uh, it's already frozen and ice has formed on top of the device so this is another test which happens now this is the rain chamber where uh, uh, you can see that uh, rain is being uh, water is being sprayed on the device uh, to test uh, the durability of the device uh, in case uh, you use it outdoor uh, during rain so these are other parameters you can see here rain test uh, chamber uh, and uh, the controlled parameters are kept here and it tested now this is another dust test chamber uh, the device is sprayed with dust uh, uh, for a longer period of time and see the impact of dust uh, whether it goes inside all those things are tested here now this is another temperature uh, controlled machine where you can see here 65 degrees is what uh, it is kept and the devices are kept inside for another round of testing this is again a temperature controlled testing uh, machine
The next test what do we could see is a roller drop test uh, that means uh, the device is rolled inside this machine so you can see here there are different chambers and this is a metal container basically and uh, they are uh, sealed inside that metal container and then uh, the roller drum is rotated to see how it impacts uh, uh, the device so uh, right now you can see that uh, the machine is rotated and the device is inside this machine and uh, once uh, you take it out you can actually uh, test uh, what all damage it has happened or if at all any damage just happen to so display or the back panel so this is the roller drop test uh, performed on the Renault 8 Pro next uh, is the ball drop test uh, so there are certain points uh, in the device uh, uh, where there are uh, sensitive areas or like the processor ram etc so you have this ball dropped onto that point and uh, then uh, we assess uh, the impact of that ball so you can see now that ball has kept and uh, just one drop uh, it happens so you can see here when it uh, starts running just uh, that point is there you can uh, see that uh, that's the ball it's a stainless steel ball and uh, it is inserted and then uh, uh, it is dropped uh, from that uh, distance so you can uh, see actually see that uh, is uh, dropped onto that particular point and then uh, you assess the value next uh, is uh, the charging port uh, you can see here uh, different weights are put onto the charging port uh, plug wire bending test machine you can see here whenever you plug uh, into the socket and if there is any weight happening does it impact uh, the uh, the charging uh, port that is what you can see here weights are uh, uh, kept and then it is rotated uh, to see if there is any damage happening Uh, next test what we could see is uh, the 5G antenna test uh, different uh, reception and uh, all the antennas if it is working or not those kind of tests uh, are conducted with this machine the 5G is one of the important parameters to test because now India is uh, going with the 5G so 5G uh, how good uh, that antenna strength is and all those things are measured here now this is yet another test where you can see here GPS te testing is done so uh, the device GPS parameters are tested here you can see here GPS uh, test machine and and, uh, the, the device is inserted onto that machine and then uh, uh, the parameters are tested now this is very interesting uh, test uh, this is uh, the drop test so you can see here this is the drop test machine uh, bottom you have this uh, stone kind of material in fact this is a stone and uh, the device is uh, kept onto this and it is dropped from a, a height uh, and then uh, it uh, you can actually see this is the values you can set uh, the force uh, uh, the length of the drop all those things are set here and uh, once uh, the drop has been done uh, other uh, different parameters are like once again tested like the sound uh, the, um, uh, uh, the touch response all those things are tested as you can see here now it is being attached to that and it is dropped here and once the drop is complete uh, you can actually see the person are testing uh, for different parameters this is yet another drop test but this is on the uh, sandpaper so uh, this is ma mainly for the display if there is any scratches happening so you can see here device is fixed onto this and it is dropped onto the sandpaper uh, uh, whether this will create any cause of uh, issues or uh, scratches or any um, um, cracks on the display so that's yet another test you can see here uh, Renew 8 Pro uh, successfully completed that test now this is uh, another testing for the USB port you can see here uh, the port is kept up and down uh, so that uh, whether that will create an impact because when we keep the device for charging uh, the port can go up and down based on how you charge so here you can see that uh, the positioning is uh, kept up and down to see if that has any impact even sideways also it is tested both the top and the bottom uh, all these uh, headphones uh, uh, if there are in 3.5 mm body jack you can see usb left and right and up and down all these are uh, testing are done here to uh, maintain the durability of the usb charging port now this is a soft bending test this is basically for uh, if you're ke keeping the device in the back pocket and uh, if you sit on a table uh, that kind of force is applied here to see if that causes any impact so you can see a soft test machine is there there is also a hard testing machine all these devices are Renault 8 Pro which is being tested here in the lab uh, in uh, Greater Noida now this is uh, another test where uh, the device is kept uh, with the charger and uh, seeing if there is an ele electrostatic discharge uh, with uh, the friction so this is very important because uh, electrostatic uh, discharge can happen from devices and to check this uh, this is kept here and this is also tested uh, with the USB transfer happening so both uh, with charging and also USB transfer uh, electrostatic uh, discharge is checked.
Now this is yet another testing chamber where uh, the Wi-Fi signal uh, is tested. You can see here Wi-Fi dark room chamber uh, where uh, the Wi-Fi signals are tested. Now this is uh, uh, the pencil uh, hardness test machine for the back panel. You can see here the back panel uh, is uh, placed and uh, the pencil is uh, drawn onto that. Uh, the hardness is tested here. Now this is yet another testing uh, machine where uh, you can see here salt uh, spray is done and uh, the back panel uh, is uh, sprayed with uh, salt to see if there is any impact on the back panel if there is any discoloration happening. The same uh, test is done with the detergents also if there is any discoloration or reaction happening with the back panel. So you can see here salt uh, water is sprayed onto the device. So in the next testing you could see here batteries kept and uh, these are uh, tested for various parameters. So the, similarly there is also charging uh, a brick uh, testing which is uh, heated up to 125 degrees to see if there is any change uh, for the charging brick. So that uh, test is also done for the adapters. And apart from that uh, there is also testing done uh, to check if the cameras are pretty good or working. You can see here the focusing all those things are done here. The camera test Testing uh, is camera is definitely one of the important things and camera testing is done here to see if all the parameters are in a perfect condition. So as you can see from the video more than 300 plus testing goes into making this Renault 8 uh, uh, series and uh, they are rigorously tested uh, for quality reliability and uh, what not uh, you can actually see in the video uh, more than 300 plus testing and uh, 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 the process it goes through before coming into your hands. So that was our experience experience with uh, the reliability and uh, durability testing lab in um, Greater Noida the Opus lab and uh, it was really great experience uh, touring this lab and uh, finding out uh, what all test uh, uh, these devices are subjected to. So that was our experience uh, with uh, the Opus uh, lab uh, in uh, Greater Noida. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.